Hello, um, my name is Rachel Plain and we're here at Berkshire Yoga Dance and Fitness for our candlelight yoga class at 5.30. And it's so funny with this new Facebook um, way of doing the live streams, I think there's like a little lag so I can never tell if we're turned on or not right now, but I know I can see that we are. <laughs> I can see that we are now. The, the first couple moments I'm like, I don't know, is this on or not? So I see that we're on. Hopefully you guys can hear me and see me okay. And I remember to set the candles up tonight to symbolize that we're here for candlelight yoga. So I'm so glad that you guys are starting to tune in. Happy Friday, happy weekend, happy Father's Day and summer solstice. Uh, big weekend, beautiful night out tonight. So I'm so glad that you guys are taking this time out to be here. So if you're tuning in for the first time for these classes, and um, this is going to be, we are here. Oh, good, Patty. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> it's so funny. The Facebook, it, the live, it's like there's definitely a connection. And I love it when you guys come on and you write comments so I can see that you're there. But I can't really see you. So it's until I see that you're um, commenting or the numbers are kind of popping up in the corner. Um, it, it feels a little one-sided, but then once I see that you like check in, I'm like, okay, good. We're back in community together again. So thank you for that comment. I really appreciate that. I miss seeing your faces, but knowing that you're here on the other side of the screen and the camera is awesome and totally helps me when I'm teaching to picture who's in the space with me, even if it's not in this space. So I'm so glad you've been here. Oh, Shannon, good to see you too. Uh, it's so nice to see some familiar faces. And then of course, all the new folks that have found us through um, this whole virtual experience of doing yoga online. So welcome to you guys too. It's awesome to have you all here. Um, so we'll get started in a moment. I did set up with some props tonight. So if you do have um, a bolster or a um, pillow or um, a cushion or something that you could use to kind of lay back on, that would be helpful for our centering. We're going to use a little bit of a restorative pose. So behind me, I'm not used to how the mirroring is on this camera. There's a bolster back there and a blanket. A blanket would work too. I also set up my blocks. I'm going to use those um, in my centering as well for a supported rest pose that many of you have practiced with me before. If you don't have any props nearby, don't worry. You can do this without props. But if you have things, gather them up. Shannon, I know you do because Riley got you a great gift. I think it was Mother's Day or maybe birthday gift. Um, so gather those things up and we'll use those right now. Great, so we're going to get going. Um, so you can come onto your mat. We might have some folks join us as we start. So let's just get to it since that's a little after 5.30. So come onto your mat and I'll lead you into this gentle flow and um, I'll check in with you again at the end. So we'll just get started and move along together. So welcome and happy Friday. Cool. All right. So we're going to start lying down tonight. Um, so as I mentioned, if you were on earlier, we have our bolster and our blanket and our blocks. If you don't have those things, don't worry. Um, gather up anything that you have that might make you comfy when you're lying back or just lie on your mat. If you do have props, we're going to kind of nuzzle our back. Move this mic. I'm just going to nuzzle your back near that bolster. You could put your head on a um, pillow or a blanket. And then your knees, if you want, can open up. And if you have blocks, you could let the knees stack right onto those blocks. And you can let your arms come a little bit away from the body. It's the backs, the hands touch the ground, and there's some space between the body and the arms. And if there's sensitivity or tenderness in the low back, which I know there are, is for some of you um, who have been in class with me before, you could put another blanket or something underneath your hips or skip using the bolster if it feels like too much of a back bend. For some people, this feels great. For some, it does not feel so good. So it's not right or wrong or good or bad. It just is what it is in your own body. So set up so you feel comfortable. And then close your eyes. So if you're just tuning in, just come to a comfortable reclined position using any props that you have nearby, blankets, bolsters, cushions, blocks, or just lying on your mat. And we'll start with a letting go breath. So breathe in through the nose. Exhale through your mouth. Good. Again, a deep breath in. And exhale. Good. Do that again. Breathe in steady, full breath. Take in as much breath as you can all the way to the top. Fill up all the edges and corners of the body. 
and exhale, release. Feel the weight drop even deeper with each breath. And then begin to breathe in and out through the nose. So just taking a deep, steady in-breath. A slow, steady out-breath. And as you're breathing in and out through the nose, begin to let your breath lengthen and deepen. So when you breathe in, take more time. Take a longer, deeper, fuller, more complete inhale. As you breathe out, same thing, longer, slower, more complete exhale. All the breath leaves the body, so you're empty at the bottom. There's nothing left, which allows you the opportunity to take in a really full, deep inhale. So to invite in more new energy, new prana, new life force, new energy, breathing all that in. And as you exhale, letting all that go. Good job. So continue your steady breath. We'll be here for a couple moments to center ourselves, to land in whatever space you're practicing in tonight, to land in your body, to connect to the present moment, and to connect to your breath. And as we're lying here and about to embark on this new weekend, this summer solstice weekend of the changing of seasons from spring to summer, this is a great opportunity for us to shed or release anything that's not serving us. So taking a moment to just notice if there's something that comes up for you that you might not want to carry into this new season, that you might want to let go of, release, shed, which then allows you to lead forward into this new season with this renewed sense, this opportunity of a fresh start, a new beginning, moving boldly and confidently and lovingly into this new direction, this new way of being for yourself. So if that resonates with you, just taking another moment to notice whatever it is that you might want to let go of without dwelling it on it or judging it or yourself. But just noticing, what could you release? And in turn, what could you make space for? And what if you could make that conscious choice to let that go, starting right now, in this moment, right now, today, on this Friday evening, or whatever evening you end up watching this. And tomorrow could be that fresh new start, or even this hour that we're done practicing, this fresh new start. So take another deep inhale. And full exhale. As you breathe in, feel your breath fill your entire being all the way out to the edges and corners of the fingers and the toes. Breathing into the palms of the hands and the soles of the feet. And as you exhale, feeling that surrender, that freedom, that lightness, that ease as you move forward. One more time, deep breath in. And full breath out, all that space and freedom and ease. 
And then this time when you breathe in, just pause for a moment. As you exhale, let your head fall over to the right and just pause there. So breathe into the left side of the neck. And I know you might be on a blanket or a bolster, so it doesn't have to be a big head roll. Just noticing that left side of the neck, a little more space there. Take a deep breath in. And full breath out. And then as you breathe in, let the head go through center. And exhale to turn the head the other way and pause. Send the breath, the awareness into the right edge of the neck. Take a deep inhale. And full exhale. As you breathe in through center, just take a moment to pause. And exhale right where you are. Okay, let the eyes float open if they were closed. And just slide the hands to the outer edges of the thighs. Let the inner thighs touch. Wiggle the feet away. And just place the hands on the belly. So embracing that low belly and taking a deep breath in there. And full breath out. And we'll slowly and gently make our way to either side. So you can bring the knees back up to center, press into the feet to shift into fetal pose. And you could either be up on the prop, so you could still be on the bolster and the blanket if you were using that, or roll off to the side. And if you could want to close the eyes, you can close the eyes still. So just taking some time to kind of come back home to yourself, to be inside your body in this safe cocoon of your body. And kind of setting up that intention of emerging from this cocoon as we move into this summer solstice, letting go, shedding what we don't need and transforming into the way we want to show up, what we do need, how we do want to feel. Starting right now, starting tomorrow, starting this weekend. And then use your arms to press the ground away so you can come up to seated. And if the props are in the way, feel free to shift them out of the way. And we'll just sit cross-legged for a moment. Take a deep inhale as you sweep the arms high and wide above the head and let your palms touch. And then exhale to slide that energy down to your heart. Let your head bow to yourself. Connect to any intention that you'd like to hold of this summer solstice, the setting of this intention, this new way of being that you want to step into this weekend, holding that, feeling that. And then as you inhale, slide the hands to the ceiling, lengthen the arms, lift the face, open the eyes, and sweep the arms behind you, drop your chin, interlace your fingers, press the fist down towards the ground to squeeze the backs of the shoulders together and open up the heart, lift the throat and face. Exhale, release the gaze, release the hands, and take a big shoulder roll. You're going to take another sun breath. This time as we exhale, just round the back and reach forward so you can catch your knees. I'm just going to move this microphone out of the way. So round the back, tuck the tail, scoop the belly. Inhale, float forward on sit bones, lift the belly, lift the heart, lift the chest. Exhale, round your back, hollow out. So we're warming up here in this gentle candlelight yoga class. Inhale, open up, creating space in our bodies, space in our hearts, space in our minds. Exhale, release, roll back. Hold the bottom, hold there, take a deep inhale. And full exhale. As you breathe in, bring the ribs over to the side around to the front, around to the other side, and around to the back. So you're going to start to stir the ribs. And that can happen um, however big or small or fast or slow that you want. So just take some time to have the hands on the legs and stir the rib cage around. Really warming up the core, the back, the ribs, the shoulders. Good. And then as the ribs come to the back, just pause and then move the ribs the other way. Nice big circles. Good. You're doing great. That's right. And then as the ribs come to the back, hold one more time. And take another big shoulder roll. Sit up tall. Shoulders shrug up. Exhale back and down. 
pausing here. Let's unwind the legs. So you might want to move props out of the way if they were in the way. So I'm just going to scooch this um, bolster out of the way and line my blocks up near the top of the mat. And unravel your legs. Let the feet be nice and wide and take a couple windshield wipers side to side, left to right. Good. Loosening up the hips, the low back. Breathing here. Bring the knees over to the right, turn the head to the left, hold there. A couple breaths. Just settling in, relaxing. And then prop up, so you're familiar with this perhaps, left hand to left hip. Hip rolls forward just to get a little warm up in that hip. And exhale, release, hip down, look to the front or the side. And do that a couple times. So move with your breath, just keep the hip nice and warm before we start to flow. We want to make sure the joints are warm, the hips, the pelvis, the back. Good. And then send the hip down and reach the arm away. You're going to pause there, take a deep inhale. As you exhale, release the arm down, press into the back hand, sweep the arm, and maybe lift the hips and open up the chest and that side body on the left. Exhale, release down, sweep it all the way back where it came from. And if that's too much, just use your arm. Release again, press into the back hand, elevate the hips, open up the belly. Exhale, release. Do that one more time. So inhale, sweep down to come up. And exhale, release. This time we're going to keep our hips down, but just lift the arm. Inhale up. And like, like you're going to reach up to the ceiling, lift the chest up the, off the ribs. And then place your hand down on your knee, your front knee, and sit up really tall and proud. And then start to rotate to the back. So you can look to the side or look over the back shoulder. And take a few breaths there in the seated twist. So the legs are in this pinwheel shape and the spine is um, rotating as the ribs revolve around the axis of the spine. Soften your shoulders and notice how you feel. Good. From here, hand that's touching the knee, cartwheel it up and over. Bring the knees up and over towards the other side to hold hand. Letter L comes to the hip, back finger face the back. Inhale, press the thigh forward, rotate to the back. Exhale, press the thigh down, rotate to the front, or even look over to the side. Do that again. Inhale, press forward, look to the side or over the back shoulder. Exhale, release, back down. One more time. Inhale, lift. And exhale, release. You're going to reach the arm away. Look at the thumb or beyond the thumb. Take a deep breath in and full breath out. So we're about to come into that big side stretch. Just take another in breath and as you exhale, release the hand down, press into the back hand, sweep the hips up, lift the belly, lift the ribs and exhale, come back down, reach the arm all the way to the side. So that's going to happen two more times and again, if you'd rather just do the um, arm, you could just do the arm. You don't have to do the hip. And release. Last time. Inhale, rise. And exhale, release. From here, lift that arm up. Pause at the top. Hips stay down. And release your hand down onto the knee. Grow up nice and tall. Rotate towards the back. So look over the back shoulder or to the side. Couple breaths. Good. Hand that's touching the knee, cartwheel it up and over. Let's windshield wiper one time each side. So nice big legs over to one side, over to the other side. Bring the knees back through center. And now wiggle the feet together, wiggle the knees apart, hold the ankles. So soles of feet touch in Baddha Konasana, bound angle. Take a deep breath in, sit up tall. And exhale, hinge forward at the hip. So you just kind of pitch the weight forward and maybe slide the hands to the feet, maybe press the forearms to the calves. Lengthen your spine or round your back. Take a deep breath here. Good. 
then start to lengthen to come up. Push the head away from the tail. Come all the way up. And let's do one more seated pose before we start to come up to stand and move. So send one leg out, send the other leg out. So we're just taking a straddle. And it doesn't have to be wide, just however wide you want it to be. So flex your feet, bring your hands behind. Come up onto the fingertips and then just open the heart and close your eyes. Feel your toes pull back. So really flexed, active feet. Feel the leg muscles hug onto the leg bones and feel the belly and your heart and chest really open and expansive. And just take a deep in breath into that whole body of yours, that beautiful, strong, able body. And full exhale. You could stay right here or if the um, hips will allow for it, bring your hands in front, sitting up tall in the sitting bones and maybe walking forward, so up to you. And thinking more about length than a deep fold. So you don't have to go far, I'd rather have you be in a flat back, a long spine, than kind of rolling forward. So have the shoulders down, have the heart open, even if you just go like an inch or so, that's totally fine. Couple breaths. So feeling the backs of the hamstrings, the inner thighs, stretching the back, getting long. Creating more space, more strength, more ease in the body. And then go ahead and come back up. You can bring your hands to the outer edges of the legs to help bring the legs together. We're going to make our way to tabletop. So if you still need to clear your mat, you can just move anything away. I'm going to tuck this off to the side, but you're going to come on to all fours when you're ready. Um, if you have blocks and you like to use them for your practice, just put them right on either side of your mat. Bring your hands a little further forward to the shoulders and take your hip circles. So swing the hips around a couple times. Nice big circles. Good. When they come to the back, move them the other way. Big circles. And when they come to the back, Take a wide knee, child's touch, the big toes, separate the knees, sink the hips, extend the arms, drop the head. Good. Let's take a side stretch here too. So walk the hands over to the right and dip the hips to the left. Let your head drop again, couple breaths. Go ahead through center, shift the hips the other way, walk the hands away from the hips, taking that C curve in the spine, couple breaths. Good. And then bring the hands back through center. From here, roll forward through cat, and let's come all the way down onto our belly. So just inch the uh, knees underneath the hips. Come on down and make that pillow for your head. Stack the palms or fists, bend the knees, toes up. Let the legs fall left to right. Circle the shins one way. And circle the shins the other way. Good. Pause here. Rotate the ankles in one direction. And then rotate the ankles the other way. Let your legs come long. Bring your hands back near the chest, underneath the shoulders. Press into the hands. Lift your heart up. Slide your hands forward. Come up onto the elbows. Be in your sphinx pose. Elbows um, right underneath the shoulders. Spread the fingers. Lift the heart. Take a moment to hold here, gazing at the ground, just a slightly in front of the fingertips. You can take a couple breaths there. Take another deep inhale. As you exhale, open the elbows, let your body come back down, and then bring your hands underneath the shoulders, back near the chest. Press all the way back. 
to child's pose and hold. This time, if you'd like, belly on the thighs, chest on the thighs, and arms could come alongside the body. You could let the backs, the hands touch the ground, the palms be open, so you're in this little child's pose ball. And if you like to practice rabbit pose for that opening in the upper back, just take a hold of the bottoms of the feet, the um, heels if you can, and then tuck the chin as you lift the hips to like a cat back. And you can roll up onto the hairline, or you could tuck the chin, come back down on the top of the head, and really breathe into the upper back, the space between the shoulder blades. And take another deep breath. And as you release, let the hips lower. Extend the arms forward to tabletop, all fours. Shift forward to that um, tabletop position. Let the um, wrists be underneath the shoulders and the hips above the knees, and then wag the hips. Pausing here in tabletop, bones of a simple cat and cow pose. So draw the navel up and in, drop the head, drop the tail. And then inhale, let the belly drop. Let the tail lift, let your heart open up. Do that again, exhale, curl the spine, round your back. Inhale, belly drops, tail lifts, heart opens up. Last time here. And then begin to lengthen from the bottom of the tail to the top of the head and we'll come to puppy pose or down dog. So curl the toes under your choice. I know some of you are familiar here. You could stretch the arms out, melt the chest, bring the chin or the forehead down or take it up to dog where the knees would come off the ground and the hips would rise up. And then if you'd like, just find a little um, walk of the dog. If you're in down dog, bend one leg. Straighten one leg, and it's walking the dog. Nice and easy, stretching through the heels, the Achilles tendon, the legs. Pedaling out. And then find your full expression of down dog in this moment, whatever that looks like. If you're in dog, otherwise stay in puppy. Spread the fingers wide, feet hip width, maybe bend the knees and really stretch the hips back and feel that length and strength and power in the spine. Deep breath. And go ahead and walk up to forward fold. So whether you're in puppy or dog, step the feet towards the hands or hands towards feet. Feet hip width, that's about two fists away from each other. And give the head a shake up and down. Yes. Saying yes to this new season that we're moving into. Yes to however you want to show up. And saying no, shaking the head left to right, letting go, letting that fall right out the head. Whatever it is that you don't need, let it go. Choose to drop it out right now. You don't need it anymore. Let the head hang. Bend your knees, slowly roll up. Arms hang off of the shoulders. Take your time. And then when you get up, take a nice big sun breath. Lift the arms. And exhale to slide your hands to prayer and close your eyes. And just stand up here in Tadasana with hands at prayer. And pause for a couple breaths as you come back home to yourself. Come back to the beating of your heart and the rhythm of your breath. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, release your arms. Walk right up to the top of the mat, so as many steps as you need to to get there. Inhale, lift the arms. And as you exhale, simple bent knee swan dive. Bend the knees, open the arms, come all the way down. Inhale, lengthen your spine, bring your hands up to your shins, pull the head away from the tail. Exhale, melt over bent knees. Drop the body, bend the knees, and then fly up with a flat back. Open the arms. Palms touch. Exhale through prayer. Eyes can close. Coming back to your breath, take a deep inhale. And exhale, release the arms. One more sun breath for now. We're going to stay standing. Lift up. And then as you exhale, open the arms. Take a hold of the hips. Send the weight to the left and send the right leg back 
to high lunge. So go ahead and wiggle that leg back to so your crescent lunge or your high lunge. Press out through the back heel, lift up through the heart, keep the front knee bent. Inhale, lift the arms. Holding that high lunge, just sparking up the fingertips like there's this big ball of energy above the head that you're holding on to. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, release the hands. If you can, you're going to interlace your fingers. If that feels too unstable, grab your hips. And for a moment, maybe press the fist. Maybe float the heart open. And if you have your balance, maybe look up. And then look back in front of you. Release the hands. Toss that ball of energy back up above the head. Straighten your front knee. And then open up to warrior two. So take some time to rearrange your feet so you can get the front heel in line with the arch, the back foot. Take your front hand, make a gentle fist, and turn it up towards the ceiling. Back arm's going to sweep across the horizon. You're going to grab this imaginary bow and arrow and pull back, pull that um, fist back towards your shoulder. Bend the front knee. So you're aiming right at that new way of being that you're working towards. Take a deep breath in. And full breath out. As you inhale, tip this shape upward. So just look up towards your fist. And as you exhale, slide into side angle. So bend the elbow. You can release the fist. Bring the forearm to the thigh. Shoot that back arm above the head. Long diagonal line from outer edge of back foot to fingertips. And then let's give our front thigh a break. So come on up, straighten the legs, and just dance back. Lift the heart, lift the chest, look up. Open the arm shoulder height. Turn your toes forward, your heels back. So you're in a wide-legged stance, your wrists are right above the ankles. Take a nice big sun breath. And as you exhale, dive forward. You could touch the outer edges of the legs, or you could come all the way down to a deep fold. Once you get down into your half fold or your deep fold, if you're in a deep fold, you can play around with your arm position. You could send the arms forward or you could stretch through the legs. So take a moment to just find a position that feels good and we'll hold still for a couple breaths. And then slide your hands back underneath the shoulders Lengthen your spine, so either fingertips on the ground, flat back, or hands to legs, flat back. And we'll take a little twist here. So move the right hand underneath the face, bring the left hand to the hip, or if you can't reach the ground, have the bottom hand touching the legs. So you're either holding the leg or you're holding the ground. And then roll the left shoulder open, so you're twisting away from that hand that's on the ground or on the leg. And then lift the top arm if there's space. And look up, take a deep breath. Exhale, release all the way down. And then we're going to do that again. So start by lengthening. Pull the head away from the tail. Left hand, either to the leg or right underneath the face on the ground. You could also grab a block. Right hand to the hip or whatever you have to put underneath your hand. If there's space, open the right shoulder. Twist away from that bottom arm. And then maybe lift the top arm. Look up. Take a deep breath. And exhale one more time to melt. Hands could come back to any variation that you like. So if you like that wide-legged short down dog, you could stretch the arms forward. If you like to reach the arms through the legs and turn the palms down, you could do that. You grab your ankles or big toes, whatever feels good. And then lengthen your spine, bend your knees, bring your hands to the tops of the thighs, and either roll up or lengthen to come up. At the top, straighten your legs and sweep the arms out. As you exhale, open the arms to shoulder height. And then turn your front foot, left foot to the front, your original front foot, Bend the front knee, warrior two, Mirabhadrasana two. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, slow cartwheel down. One arm goes, the other arm follows. You pivot on the ball of the back foot and soften the back knee down. The right hand can be on the ground, fingertips are blocked. 
And then take a twist here. So lift the left arm up. So a lot of ringing out, a lot of opening our heart and ringing out our spine. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, release. So you're welcome to stay if you want to hold this um, psoas stretch or hip flexor stretch. Or we're going to come in and out of this and Ardha Hanumanasana, which is our half monkey pose. So you're welcome to grab the blocks if you want or not. You're going to send the hips back, flex the front foot. We're not even going to walk the blocks back this time or the hands because you're just going to stretch for a moment. And then you're going to roll back forward. So we did this this morning. If you were with me, um, I know some of you guys practice uh, more than once sometimes. So we did this this morning. Okay, one more time, roll over the sole of the front foot, bend the front knee, lift up, and exhale, stretch back, just coming in and out of that. So you might want something underneath the hand so there's space. Do that one more time, breathing in to lift up forward. Exhale, releasing, shift back. The back toes either curled under or uncurled, that's kind of up to you, whatever feels better. Shift forward and hold, pause. If you're on the blocks and there's space to move them away, you're welcome to move them away because we're about to step back. I'm going to come out of the hips and just slide that front leg back and come all the way to your belly. Uncurl your toes. Come up to cobra or sphinx. You can come back onto the forearms or you could lift the heart and be on the hands. Point the elbows back, shoulders down. And exhale, release to your belly. Shift up and back to tabletop, all fours. Curl your toes under and make your way back to puppy or back to dog. Lift the hips. Take a couple breaths here. You're doing great. From your dog or your puppy, Come back to forward fold as many steps as you'd like. Feet towards hands or hands towards feet. Feet hip width. Shake it, yes. Invite in what you're seeking. Yes to that. And shake it, no. Releasing what's not serving you, whatever's holding you back, whatever limiting beliefs or behavior or ideas or thoughts, let them go. Hang out here. Bend the knees and slowly roll up. At the top, big sun breath. Exhale, hands to prayer. Stand up tall. Feel this union you're creating within yourself, between your body, your mind, and your heart. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, release your arms. You're going to be back at the top of the mat. I'm going to go on this side so you can see. So just walk up. Inhale, lift the arms. And exhale again, swan dive. Again, lengthen. Flat back, Ardha Uttanasana. Stretch out. Come onto fingertips or shins. Exhale, deep fold. It's a half sun salutation, but bend the knees and come up with a flat back. So you come up kind of through Utkatasana all the way to stand, palms touch. And then exhale through prayer, and you just take another moment to reset here. Perhaps close the eyes, take a deep inhale. And exhale, release your arms. Take a sun breath, stay standing. As you exhale, catch your hips, stay standing. Come on to the right foot and send the left leg back. And then just wiggle it as far back as you want. So it could be a shallow lunge. It could be a deep lunge. Front knees bent, back legs straight. Inhale, lift the arms. Steady gaze or focal or dristy point to keep your balance. Take a deep breath. Exhale, release. Open the arms behind you. Interlace your fingers. And then if you want, open the chest. You could also just hold the hips. You don't have to open up. If you want to open up, open up, look up. And then look back in front. You're doing great. Release the hands. Throw the arms up nice and easy. And then straighten the front leg. Open up warrior two. Back heel spins down. There's a little wiggle in the feet to get there. Deep breath. Full breath out. Make that fist with the front hand. Turn it upwards. Back hand sweeps across the horizon. Grab that imaginary bow and arrow. Pull it back. Strong arms. Look forward over that front fist. And then tip that vision all the way up towards the universe, towards the heavens. Look up. 
And exhale, side angle. Elbow bends, release your fist, slice the top arm above the ear, look up. Breathe. On your next inhale, rise up, straighten the legs, and dance back. It's a little break. And then open up, arm shoulder height. Turn toes forward, heels back. Let's do something different this time. So bring the wrists above the ankles, lift the arms. Let's do a little more heart opening. So from here, bring the hands behind you. Interlace your fingers. So just like we did in that lunge, and press the fist down. Open the chest. And now hinge forward. And you could either be with a flat back where you just kind of pull the head away from the tail and you hover there like you're flying through the air. Or you could go into a nice deep fold. So it's up to you. And if the interlaced fingers don't, behind your back don't work for you, bring the hands to the hips. Or feel free to choose another variation. Take a couple breaths. On an in-breath, lengthen to come up. Let the arm bones pull you all the way up. And then press the fist down. Squeeze the heart open. Look up. Release the gaze to the front, even all the way down to the ground, perhaps. And then sweep the arms all the way up. One more sun breath. Lift up. Exhale. Open the arm shoulder heights. So you're setting up nice and strong. Turn the front foot forward so we know heel to arch alignment. Front heel lined up with arch of back foot. Bend the front knee, hold your warrior two, heel, or um, knee rather, right above the ankle. Look out over the front middle fingers. Warrior two, Virabhadrasana two, nice stretch for the hips, deep inhale. And exhale, slowly make your way to the ground. So reach one arm, reach the other arm, pivot on the ball of the back foot, and just release that back knee down. Take as much time as you want here. Have the front knee above the front ankle, hands on ground or blocks. Palms or fingertips, holding, breathing. And then I think on the other side we took a twist, so let's do that again. Press into the left hand, lift the right arm, so there's a little ringing out. Again, lift the heart, look up. Making space, letting go, take a deep inhale. And exhale, release. And now, like we did on the other side, we're going to come in and out of Ardha Hanumanasana, or that monkey pose. So if you want your blocks or something under the hands, go ahead and grab that. Shift the hips back straight in the front leg. Flex the foot. See, so pull the hips back. And then send the hips forward. Do that again. Pull the hips back. And send your hips forward. One more time. Exhale. And inhale. Hold here. If you're on the blocks, you're free to move them away if you'd like. Uh, bring the hips back slightly so you can unweight that front leg and then come all the way onto your belly. And then like we did before, let's bring the hands underneath the shoulders and then lift the heart. So cobra or sphinx. Anchor the pubic bone. Point the elbows back. Slide the shoulders down. And exhale, release to your belly. We're going to stay here. So make a pillow for the head again. Stack the palms or fists and just internally rotate your legs so your big toes touch and your heels fall away. And then soften the knees and your bottom. So really simple. We've done this in the studio before. Just this internal rotation to release any tension in the low back. Good. And then lengthen the legs, the ankles are long and straight. Open your arms to T position, your belly down still. I'm going to take a shoulder stretch that we did earlier this week, or last week maybe. I just realized we didn't have candlelight yoga last week, so I missed you guys. So I don't think you guys did this yet. So bring your left hand to the mat, back near the chest. And then you're going to roll, um, oh, first bend your left knees, your toes up and your knees bent. And then you're going to roll towards that right side and then just lift the left knee, kind of it, like hurdles up and over the bottom leg and come on the ball of the foot or the sole of the foot. Now my arm is out to the side. If that's too much, that arm could be forward and you could rest your head on it. Otherwise, feel free to keep your palm down and be opening that shoulder quite a bit here. If you want to bind, you could take the left arm up to the ceiling. Look up, maybe. Roll it behind the back. You could close your eyes. 
and just rest. So opening the hip, opening the shoulder, opening the chest. Letting the body settle towards the mat. Good. And then that arm that's behind you, if you took the bind option, lift it up. Place your hand down. Use that hand to help support you as you roll back onto your belly. We're going to do the whole thing on the other side. So bring your chin to the mat, stretch your left arm out. Bring your right hand back near the chest, elbow up like you're gonna come up to cobra. Bend the right knee, toe up. Press into the right hand, roll towards the left hip. Come on the ball of the foot or the sole of the foot. Lift the opposite arm if you'd like. Bind the arm behind your back if you'd like. And take a breath or so. Good. If you're in the bind, lift the arm up. Release your hand down. Roll back onto your belly. And let's come to one last child's. Hands underneath chest or back near chest. Press back. Knees either wide or hip width. I'm going to take a wide knee child and a prayer variation. So you could press the palms to prayer if you'd like and bend the elbows and let the forearms fall back to your head. That's just one choice. But if you want to be an extended child or arms alongside the body, feel free to take that. Couple breaths here. Extend the arms if they were folded back. Bring your hands back near the shoulders. And then press into your hands. Roll yourself up to sit on your heels. And we're going to come to seated. So bring the hips off to the side. And just swing the legs around. And let's come cross legs for just a moment. Um, I'm feeling like I want to offer you a little bit of a breathing practice or pranayama right now. So we've done this before too, alternate nostril breathing. You're going to raise your right hand. I'm not sure if I'm mirroring you or not. I always forget with this camera how this is working. And you're going to um, come down to take your um, thumb up. I'm forgetting how to do this right now. So your thumbs up. You're going to drop your fingers and keep the pinky and the thumb up. And take a moment there. And then bring your thumb. I feel like it's... Thumb. We'll do thumb and pinky. I think it might be a little different than this, but thumb and pinky up. You're going to block your right nostril with your um, thumb. Take a deep breath in through the left. And then block your left with the pinky or your ring finger, I think it might be. And then exhale through that right nostril. I'm going to use my thumb and my pinky. Inhale through your right. Lock off your right and exhale left. Inhale through your left. Lock off left, exhale right. Keep going, inhale right. Block off right, exhale left. This is Nadi Shodna, alternate nostril breathing. Inhale. Block off, exhale. It's a great way to balance the right and left hemisphere of the mind and body. Take another deep breath in through right. Block off, exhale left. Do that a couple more times. Inhale. Block. And exhale, other side. Inhale through that open side. Block off. Exhale, opposite side. 
and just a couple times on your own. Good. The next time you exhale right, you release your hands onto your lap, palms up or down, and just take a few dirga breaths or three-part breaths when you're ready. When you slip into that dirga or three-part breath, it's in and out through the nose. Hands are down on the lap, up or down. And just noticing how you feel right now. Noticing any shift or difference or change from just a few moments of practicing that, that balancing breath. Good. And take one more deep inhale. As you exhale, just drop the chin for a moment. Bow your head. Feel the back of the neck. Breathe right into the back of the neck. And full breath out. You can float the eyes open. Bring the hands behind you just so you can tip back and unwind the legs. You're going to scooch your body up. We're going to get ready to come onto our back relax in Shavasana. So lift your arms up. And as you exhale, slowly lower. Tuck the tail, scoop the belly. Come all the way onto your back and perhaps take a nice big stretch if you'd like. Send the legs forward, the arms behind. Gather knees up to belly. You could hold knees or shins or wrap arms around legs and take a rock. Hands can come onto knees and circle the knees one way. And begin to circle the knees the other way. Good. Bring your feet to the mat, knees up to the ceiling, slide the hands along the thighs, place the hands in the belly. Let your feet be as wide as the mat and then take the inner thighs and knees to touch, just like we did in the beginning. Hands could rest on belly or one hand could come up to heart. You're welcome to stay here or if you prefer to be in bound angle, reclined bound angle, you could bring feet together and knees apart. We're just going to take a few breaths to land before we come to Shavasana. A few breaths to come back home to yourself, to reconnect to your body, to reconnect to the breath. And then when you're ready, just make your way to rest. So you can send one leg long, you can send the other leg long, you can use any props or extra layers that would help support your rest. You can take any closing postures along the way that would feel good. But when you're ready, come lie down on your back and I'll guide you into a nice relaxing Shavasana guided relaxation. So on your back, Let your legs come long, let your arms come long when you're ready. Let the backs, the hands touch the ground, let your palms be open and close your eyes. Let your breath soften. Let your mind settle. Feel your whole body start to relax. Bring your awareness to your forehead. Feel your forehead soften. Let your eyes fall back beneath your closed eyelids even deeper. Feel your cheeks, 
and jaw and mouth relax. Your whole face softens. Let your throat and neck relax. Feel your chest and heart and collarbones. Feel that area widen and soften. Let the warmth and energy from the heart travel across the collarbones and shoulders. Down the upper arms. around the elbows and down the lower arms, around the wrists and down to the palms of the hands and the backs of the hands, your fingers and your thumbs. Your right arm relaxed, your left arm relaxed. Feel your belly soft, effortless effortless rise and fall of the belly with your breath. Let your hips be heavy. Feel your legs relax, your upper legs. around the knees to the lower leg, around your ankles to the tops of the feet and the soles of the feet and the tips of the toes. Your right leg relaxed. Your left leg relaxed. Your upper body relaxed and your lower body relaxed. Feel your whole body soften and surrender and let go even deeper. Take a couple breaths in stillness and silence. you're welcome to stay here for as long as you'd like. If you'd like to come out with me, you're just going to deepen your breath, feel your breath move through your body. Longer, deeper, more complete. Inhale and exhale. As your awareness deepens, if you'd like to move the body, you could wiggle your fingers or your toes. And then if you'd like, you can come to either side with the least amount of effort. Just curling up into a fetal pose for a moment. Knees into belly, arms into chest, head resting wherever it's comfortable. Use your top arm, press the ground away. Come all the way up to seated. And come into cross legs, close your eyes or soft gaze at the palms be up or down on the lap. Sit up tall and just take a moment here. Just a moment to feel this strength and love and power and compassion and grace. This awareness and consciousness that you're cultivating through your practice. And choosing whatever it is that you want to let go. 
whatever you want to leave behind so that you can move boldly and lovingly into this next chapter, into this new season. And then when you're ready, bring your hands together to prayer position, palms touch. As you exhale, bow your head to your heart, back to yourself. And we'll end on the sound of OM, the sound of community, starting with a letting go breath. So take a deep inhale. Exhale a sigh. Good, and we'll begin. Deep breath in. And as your head bows back to your heart, taking one last moment to honor the divinity and the light that shine within you. Namaste. Thank you for being here. Have a great weekend and an awesome Friday. It's beautiful out. I hope you get outside and um, enjoy this transition from spring to summer. It's a perfect weekend for it. So wishing you guys a beautiful weekend and a happy summer solstice and um, happy Father's Day weekend and all the good summery things that are happening. So. Thanks for being here. I miss you guys. I love you guys. And I can't wait to see you again real soon. So um, stay tuned for more info on some outdoor stuff that we'll be doing. So hopefully I'll maybe see you guys outside this summer on Greylock or on the lake. And until then, I'll be um, streaming the classes that you're familiar with. So I'll be seeing you online, if not outside. So take care. Thank you so much. And uh, be well. Enjoy the weekend. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks, Patty.